Hello everyone, this is Akash here from BlenderSchool.cf and in this Blender extra tip video I'm going to show you how you can fix your render if it looks different from the viewport render. Uh, so I have a basic scene loaded up here. Now as you can see uh, in my viewport area over here uh, the scene is pretty nice okay I have a nice little platform the sky and it looks it, it looks good all the shadows everything looks good but this is the render result which I got after rendering this scene as you can see that the, I don't know what happened with the sky it's completely black there are some problems with the shadows over here you can see it's completely dark and uh, the, I don't know why all the other areas are so bright and the shadows on these platforms are also very very distorted I don't know what's the problem with this so if this problem occurs uh, for you too you can just see this video and uh, you'll find a solution for this uh, so I'm going to show you how you can fix your render uh, if it looks different from the viewport render now I can't I can't always render my scene just to see how it looks so that's why I use the viewport shading but when I render see it's it's a bit different from the viewport so uh, there are a few ways you can uh, adjust fix this but there are many I'm just gonna tell you about three of them uh, so let's get into it so I'm gonna start by uh, bringing up my properties panel which is over here okay so as you can see first thing is this shadow now first open up your outliner and then just see if you have some object which is hidden so in this scene I have all the objects which I want but in the outliner you can see all the other other objects also which are hidden so in this one I can see one plain object over here which is hidden uh, you uh, you can see if it is hidden uh, if this uh, eye thing is grayed out if this eye icon is grayed out and if you select this plane you can't see it in the viewport that means this plane exists but it's not gonna be seen to us okay it's, it's not seen in the viewport but uh, if we just uh, unhide it by clicking on this button you can see there's a plane over here I don't know why did I even keep it here I wanted to delete it but I I didn't delete it I just uh, I just uh, stopped it uh, I just uh, hide it from the viewport but if you hide it from the viewport it's still gonna render this object it's gonna uh, come in the rendering uh, in the render so to avoid that you can either click on this render icon just to hide it from the render also or you can uh, just delete this object if you don't even want it so I don't even want it uh, keep this object in my scene so I'm just gonna delete it by pressing X and then delete so this is one way if you have many objects which are hidden but still they are appearing on your uh, render so you can do this method to uh, just uh, get rid of them well, the second thing I'm gonna select this platform over here this uh, cube which is just a platform come in the modifiers now over here as you can see I have a modifier sub subdivision surface modifier over here now over here as you can see it's uh, it's um, you can see this in the viewport again you have this eye icon uh, on the gray background on this dark gray background which means that you can see this uh, modifier applied to the object in the viewport but since this uh, render icon is in a lighter gray background it means that the rendering engine will ignore this modifier so I want to include this modifier so I'm gonna click on this render icon so that it also has a dark gray background also over here in the subdivisions you'll find this view which is the viewport subdivisions to be 2 so if I increase this view to be 3 it's gonna change the number of subdivisions of my object in the viewport so it's gonna have 3 subdivisions but when, my, uh, when I do uh, when I when I render the scene it's gonna use only one subdivision because the render is one so I want both of them to be same so since I had to I'm gonna change the render also to be two so now my uh, now the rendering engine will include this modify in the rendering process and it's gonna in, uh, make it two so the view and the render subdivisions are same so I'm gonna get completely same subdivisions uh, as I can see over here uh, in the viewport and in the rendering so that's the other thing if you have many modifiers and some are hidden from the rendering while some are having this view render problem over here so this is one way you can uh, fix uh, this now the third problem so if you come in the render layers uh, this 
uh, you can see if you have some multiple render layers, uh, you, uh, you can see all the render layers over here. So I have some two render layers, one is main, one is sky. The main is the one which has the uh, all the uh, all the objects basically the sky is only a plane which is in the second layer it, it, it's just a plane with the sky text uh, sky background uh, so uh, the main is gonna render only the first layer so whatever is there in the first layer is gonna be rendered in this main uh, render layer while the one uh, the objects which are there in the second layer are gonna be ignored by the first layer uh, so uh, so the second render layer has got uh, this second uh, layer set. So the second render layer, the sky render layer is going to only render this sky. It's just going to ignore all the other objects. So uh, if I again open my scene, uh, you can see uh, that uh, this is the uh, render result which I got. Um, if I come in the rendered, you can see that the sky is, uh, if I just select this first layer, you can see that the sky is black. That means I have the background black. Um, uh, but if I include the second scene also, second layer also, by holding down shift and clicking on it, I have the sky. So what I want is to include both the layers in my render. So one way you can do it is by selecting one of the render layers and then holding down shift, select the other render layer you want to render. Or you can just select all of them by holding down shift and just uh, dragging your mouse on top of all these layers so it's going to render all the layers and I don't want to render the sky layer now so I'm going to uncheck it so I don't want to render it okay so uh, this is going to ignore the sky layer so now I should have the uh, sky also in my render so these are a few three tips which uh, you can use uh, to fix the uh, render if you are seeing some other render result uh, compared to the viewport re uh, rendered shading um, now there's one more problem if you see in my uh, render result you can see the things are way too bright you can see all these railings all this platform is very very bright but in my viewport it's a bit darker so uh, the other problem is if you come in the node editor and your render layers you should see if you uh, uh, you should just check if uh, any node is conflicting the render so as you can see I have my main render layer over here this is the main render layer uh, with all the objects on the scene but I also have got this RGB curves which has increased the brightness I don't know why did I place it before but I, I guess I forgot to delete it and this is the composite node which is the final output so what Blender is now doing is it's gonna take the render result it's gonna make it more brighter with this RGB curves and it's gonna give it to decomposite uh, it, it's gonna make it more brighter so I don't want to use this node so I can delete it by pressing X and then again connect the uh, uh, render layer to the composite or you can just uh, if I just undo this thing uh, I'll just uh, bring back this node here you can ignore this node by selecting it and pressing M so now Blender is gonna ignore this node so it's now more dark but now I guess I have solved all the problems uh, which were there so now if I give it a render I should have completely uh, same uh, result as uh, as this scene over here as this viewport so I'm going to give it a render and we are going to see how it looks like now so the rendering is finished and uh, and as you can see it's it's just the same now the render result and the viewport shading is is, is just the same thing now so um, I have fixed the sky uh, the weird shadow of that object, of that plane object, and the uh, weird shadows on this plane here. So as you can see, uh, and I've also fixed the brightness. So as you can see now, with these simple steps, you can just fix the uh, scene. I'll fix your scene uh, if it looks different from the viewport. So these are just some few ways, some common ways you can fix it. But there are some other ways also. You should also check your particle system. There are many other ways. So these are a few four common methods you can use uh, to just uh, fix the renders if they appear a bit different in the viewport. And so this was an, a long extra tip video uh, on Blender and I hope you all found this uh, tip useful. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.